Me and my dad had a conversation at the weekend about something that we used to hold quite dear, the RNLI, and what the hell's going on with them. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Let me know in the comments. Good to see you again. Thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. Channel's growing and it's doing so with your help. So again, thank you very much. Well, things that grow with help, things that need help to grow, the RNLI used to be one of these years ago. I mean, by virtue of the fact you live by a seaside town as I do, you get involved. We used to be members of the local yacht club and my dad and the rest of my family were long-term friends with a couple of people that manned the local lifeboat. And you always tried your best to fundraise for them and help them. We used to go around when I was a kid, you know, these little orange boats, little plastic orange lifeboat things with coin holes in them. You go around knocking door to door. Me and my old man could fill a couple of those up without drawing a breath. It was quite easy and people were willing to donate to the cause because they believed it was a good one. Now you roll forward to today and the RNLI is embroiled in what's going on in the channel and we hear reports of them going all the way to France all the way to pick migrants up to bring them all the way back here. Yes, according to international law, we are allowed in French waters without permission because of search and rescue reasons, but they should be returned back to the French coast as that's the nearest point. Why bring them all the way over here? Unless there's a damn good reason for it, which obviously we're not, not being told. But the point is, have a look at the description below. You'll see a link to a news article. You're reading things like the RNLI are turning down distress calls from people in ships because they're too busy performing their taxi services to the migrants coming across the channel. They're misappropriating the funds that have been raised for them and sending them here, there and everywhere on silly little woke projects they shouldn't go anywhere near. And as a result, people are cancelling the direct debits People are just not donating on the door and giving them the overall cold shoulder. Now, if anything happened to the RNLI, what replaces them? Who jumps in and saves little Johnny who's drifting out to sea in his rubber ring? It really is quite disturbing. And I want to uh, give a shout out to uh, Maya Tusi who did a video, uh, which I saw earlier on. Uh, to do with a leaked document about how long all this is going to go on for. Go check out his channel. And there's some other bits and pieces going around about Bibby Stockholm as well. But the RNLI are in big, 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 big trouble. Let me know what you think in the comments and have a read of the article. I'm off. I'll see you soon with one more. Toodaloo.